Alright, what is up Transformer fans? This is the video review of Transformers Prime Cyberverse Legion Class Cliff Jumper. Here he is in his vehicle mode. Go ahead and take a look at his weapon real quick to get that out of the way. It is Ratchet's Energon Scalpel, and as you can see, it is kind of a bright red bendy plastic. It has four handles, one here, one here, and two on the side. They do peg in multiple places on Cliff Jumper on the top as it was when the video began and on either side right here or right here now these two on the side there really isn't a good way for them to peg on because you see it sits at an angle my only assumption is that these two pegs are to combine with other cyberverse weapons which Hasbro has claimed that, that is one of the gimmicks of cyberverse so there's his vehicle now this is a vehicle. You can see very nice detailing on the front here. The silver paint along with the horns being painted the same color. The windshield and all the windows are a black shiny color. And then on the top we have a silver for the uh, chest split um, look and the red Autobot symbol. On the back we have more silver where the taillights should be. The taillights are molded in but they're unfortunately not painted. They also did not paint his pipes on the side here. And you can see he's very, very clean underneath, except for his little abdomen piece. It kind of hangs down a little bit, but it does not get in the way of him rolling at all. You can see it's a very, very solid, and it rolls very well. Here he is compared to Dark of the Moon Cyberverse Legion Class Sideswipe. You can see Sideswipe is a little bit bigger. So it's, there's really no hiding the fact that Hasbro's downscaled all of their figures, which is to be expected. So you can see. Although they are different body types, you can see the difference in size, especially with the wheels. Now to transform, what you want to do first is you want to come around to the back and split the legs, which are going to become the legs, and pull them up like so down and around. Then you take the doors and they rotate around and flip down to become the feet. Rotate around and flip down to become the foot. <laughs> now this is the cool part. You want to take the front part of the hood and split it. You can see his head was revealed right here. Take this whole piece and this pivots around and pegs in right there to become his chest. Scoot him back. You need to take these pieces and flip it up and then you can see there's a little panel line right there where this actually I'm trying to get it where you can see this intersection comes out down and around to become his hand I'll show that again because it's very very neat the way they've hidden his hand in here this comes out down and around and you rotate it around and there's his hand so here's cliff jumper in robot mode very, very nice. You can see a lot of the silver detailing that wasn't visible in robot mode or vehicle mode. They did they didn't really have to put it in there, but they did. You can see the car mold folds cleanly into a nice robot mode that really mimics the cliff jumper style. He's very bulky in the shoulders and arms and the legs also have a little bit of bulk to them. The feet are very wide to per to keep him stable. Here he is next to Sideswipe. We can see here that now he's about the same size. So where Hasbro did decrease the size of the vehicle mode, they more than made up for it by keeping the robot mode very, very similar in size. Now Sideswipe here has a big backpack, so that kind of makes him look a little intimidating. But if you can see here, their heads are almost the exact same level. So let's take a look at m the more detailed parts of Cliff Jumper. You can see here that this detail well, if it would focus, this detail now splits the hood cleanly to make it look like it did in the show. The horns are visible, but that's no big deal because it's a Legends class. The arms have a lot of really cool partsy detailing that is very well highlighted by the silver. The silver on the rear bumper becomes his knees, which brings out the separation between the thigh and the leg. And his feet are unfortunately not painted but uh, that can be forgiven because he is a cyberverse. Now on the back, you can see he does not have a backpack at all. In fact, the wheels actually look in place right there. It looks like if he transformed, that would be how it is. You do get hollow 
in the arms right here because of the way it transforms and hollow down here in the legs. So he does feel a little bit empty when you're looking at him from the back. But mostly you won't be doing that. You'll be looking at him from the front. Now his weapon. All you got to do is peg it in right here over his hand. And voila, there it is. He can also hold it as a regular sword, like so. So there's that. Now, um, I don't really like to use the weapon, so that's just my personal preference. Now to get on to his posability, he's very posable for a cyberverse, which is one of the things that makes him so strong. He has a full leg ball joint and a whole swivel for a knee. The feet is all the foot is also on a ball joint, which makes it very, very versatile. Now, most cyberverse don't even have either arm articulation or leg articulation. I've never come across one that has both until now. Cliff Jumper has a full shoulder ball joint and a full elbow ball joint, which is sitting at an angle which allows him to come out like so. And it also allows him to have a full range of motion in his arm. And if you want, his shoulders can be adjustable too. Don't know why you'd want that, but it's a joint from the transformation. So all in all, Cliff Jumper is a very, very good toy. I would highly recommend getting him, and although I don't have any other legions yet, I do think that he is one of the best of the line due to reports from other people that I've heard. Anyway, Cliff Jumper is a very strong toy, and I really, really advise picking him up. Thank you for viewing this video, and goodbye.